Edison Public Library's Author of the Month is Oscar Wilde. Wilde was born of professional and literary parents. His father, Sir William Wilde, was Ireland's leading ear and eye surgeon who also published books on archaeology, folklore, and the satirist Jonathan Swift. His mother, who wrote under the name Speranza, was a revolutionary poet and an authority on Celtic myth and folklore. In the final decade of his life, Wilde wrote and published nearly all of his major work. In his only novel, The Picture of Dorian Gray, published in Lippicott's Magazine, 1890, and in book form, revised and expanded by six chapters in 1891, Wilde combined the supernatural elements of the Gothic novel and the unspeakable sins of French decadent fiction. In many of his works, exposure of a secret sin or indiscretion and consequent disgrace is a central design. If life imitated art, as Wilde insisted in his essay, The Decay of Lying, in 1889, he was himself approximating the pattern of his reckless pursuit of pleasure. His close friendship with Lord Alfred Douglas, whom he had met in 1891, infuriated the Marquis of Queensbury, Douglas's father. Accused by the Marquis of being a sodomite, Wilde, urged by Douglas, sued for criminal libel. Wilde's case collapsed, however, when the evidence went against him and he dropped the suit. Urged to flee to France by his friends, Wilde refused, unable to believe that his world was at an end. He was arrested and ordered to stand trial. Wilde testified brilliantly, but the jury failed to reach a verdict. In the retrial, he was found guilty and sentenced in May 1895 to two years of hard labor. Most of his sentence was served at Reading, where he wrote a long letter to Douglas filled with recriminations against a younger man for encouraging him in dissipation and distracting him from his work. In May of 1897, Wilde was released, bankrupt, and immediately went to France, hoping to regenerate himself as a writer. His only remaining work, however, was The Ballad of Reading, revealing his concern for inhumane prison conditions. Despite constant money problems, he maintained, as George Bernard Shaw said, an unconquerable gaiety of soul that sustained him. He died suddenly of acute meningitis brought on by an ear infection. In his semi-conscious final moments, he was received into the Roman Catholic Church, which he had long admired. Oscar Wilde's notable works include The Picture of Dorian Gray, the importance of being earnest and an ideal husband. Thank you for watching. If you want to check out more works by Oscar Wilde, please visit our catalog on our website at www.edisonpubliclibrary.org.